What's up guys and welcome back. Look at this jacket. This is... It's a reflective jacket. This is from my managers over at Space Station Gaming. Sorry I didn't post a video yesterday. Just needed a break. Yeah. Today's puzzle, I am so stoked. Highly sought after, very rare lock puzzles by Rainer Pop. These are known as Pop Locks. Now, the last one we did was the T7, after which, in retrospect, I looked at, uh, I, I read some blogs about it, and turns out a lot of people were disappointed with that lock when it came out because of the mechanics, and it was customizable, so you could make your own maze, which I didn't know at the time. That being said, Rainer then followed up the T7 with the T8, and boy, oh boy, were people excited. This thing flew off the shelves now, retailed at about 1,500. I picked it up for about two and a half thousand dollars at an auction. And apparently the solution is very unique, which I'm looking forward to uncovering. We're gonna try to do that all here today for your enjoyment and I've cleared the schedule. So without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into solving the T8 pop lock. <sighs> Highly excited for this, by the way. Weder schlagen, schütteln, Gewalt oder Schwerkraft zum Öffnen notwendig. No hitting, shaking, force or gravity needed to open this lock. No gravity? Am I supposed to open this lock in space? So this is, uh, as I mentioned from Rainer Pop, uh, probably the best lock puzzles in the entire world are made by this guy. And uh, we've got the T8 here. Let's see what she looks like. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh my. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, look at that. Now, if that doesn't look like something you'd find on a spaceship, I don't know what does. This looks like, this legit looks like a space weapon. Pew! Look at the beauty in that though. Something about metal, and that just makes it look beautiful and shiny and pristine. So we got a lot going on here. All right, we gotta wrap our heads around this. This is supposed to be a sequential puzzle. Got the timer. Uh, a lot going on. We got this here, this little knob with a little plastic ring around it. We've got, uh, there you go, T8 pop lock. We've got a hole back here. Uh, that hole you can actually see through. So this hole goes all the way through. You've got this knob here which turns and as well you got like a little screw on the top which has a little hole uh, perfect for like an Allen key. You also have this hole here, which is a red hole. You have this button here, which doesn't move. And you have this loop. So we got a whole lot of things. So this loop probably goes here and that's probably the lock. This is a moving mechanism. Let's see if I can unscrew the top part. It doesn't look like it. Oh, there is a click, you hear that? Not sure what that clicks for. You can actually push this in. It's like a detonator, right? Or like a, like an air pressure hose. You know, you, you connect it here, you go. I don't know, okay. Obviously this is the first thing that we have to figure out. So this moves inwards. This little, this little screw. Cool. Uh, the rings here are also red on the top. And I believe the two middle ones are like blue or green or something. Watch the top screw here. See how it bounces in and out? Why? How? Gravity's not a thing. Forcing, banging. Spinning.
not giving me much to go on here. Although there are a few like things laying around, there are like, but there's this is the only moving component. This is the only part that probably matters for now. Oh. Okay, hello. So I do feel, okay, when I go like this, that, that part does jump up and down and there is a bit of a resistance, but if I pull and do it, now there's like a big click. If I pull out here. Six minutes in and we have discovered nothing. We have, no, actually not nothing. We've discovered that this does this. That's all we've discovered here and here. Trying to press this button, trying to pull, push. Nothing is really working. Oh, hello. Here we go. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Very cool. That's unscrewing. It doesn't come up further than that because of the top part. Oh, hello. Hello. Hello, you. Oh, there was like a lock in place. Look at this. Not sure of anything right now. Okay, that's cool, but what are we doing? Oh, see this screw here? Watch this piece of lead or whatever that piece of metal is. I'll bring it up to the camera here. As I screw that top plate, that top ring down, that moves and locks into position. So I had to Move it out of the way, and it stops there. So now there's got to be a weird. There's a weird mechanic in here. It's like super greasy and, and, and weird. Look, it's just slowly that comes out. Look. It's like all greased up in there. So there's got to be another internal maze. I'm guessing probably has to do with this or this. Maybe there's another tool here. You hear that? It's like, it's, it's, it's scraping against like, like a, like a ribbed uh, tube. Listen. And those might be like there might be like this little labyrinth I gotta get through. There's a trap here somewhere. I know this. Why would I be? Why is this red hole here? Do I have to reset it, you think? Or is there like a pin that I need to extract somewhere?
maybe this has to go back. Why is there this? Why is there that ring? Why does that exist? It's also looking more and more like a, like a thing you plug into a, a pressure, like a hose. Hmm. I don't know what to guess right now. Like, I don't know, I don't know what to guess. The only thing I have to go on is that people say this took them days and other people say it took them minutes. Um, they also said that the solution was very simple, very unique. Like that's, that's the things that I've been hearing, that's it. So I don't know, like we've gotten the first part done. And according to the website, this has two parts. And the second part is pretty ingenious and I can't wait to uncover it. Oh, did you hear that? Did you hear this? This is like a pressure thing. I had my hands here and I went like this and I felt a suction here. Like a, like a piece of, uh, like air trying to escape. Watch. I can create suction right here. Okay. So what does that have to do with anything? That's really ingenious if that's the case. Build up the pressure. Maybe this button here comes out eventually. We will try. Okay, there has to be something to do with air here. Ooh, this is exciting.
How come it's not going in anymore? Got it. Let's go, baby. Okay, interesting. So what, uh, so what exactly makes this thing unlock? Now it's locked again. No, that's locked. That's locked. That's locked. Locked. Put my fingers on these two holes. Push down. Sorry. Keep my fingers on these holes. Get this down. Put my fingers on the holes. Pull out. Now do, oh my God, that is sick. That is so sick. Wow. It uses air. Oh, that's so ingenious. Now I get it, wow. Okay. Let's try to put it back to normal here. Get it back to the beginning. This has to be unscrewed. Cause that was all the way in. And then this was screwed in. Yes, come sa. All right. So this is not opening. Wow, what a lock. All right, let's go. I'm gonna open this one more. This is just fun to open. Oh my God. Unscrew this. See, you really had to think outside of the box here. Pull that out. And now you're like, well, how does it open? It doesn't open, it's locked. Block these two holes. Wait, push in first. Lock these two holes, pull out, boom. Are you kidding me? How is that not the most ingenious thing ever? And, and honestly, by doing just like playing around, I felt at one point, and this is totally by accident, my fingers were blocking these things as I was just holding it. And then I felt a small little, little suction on my thumb. And I was like, what, what was that? And that, if it wasn't for that, I swear I could be here for days. Amazing, amazing, amazing. 20 minute solve, heck yeah, let's go. The T8, wow! Hot! Dang! Bam, baby! This thing is insane! I am thoroughly, thoroughly pleased. I, I don't get this happy about a solution uh, very often. First step, again, was to unscrew the top part, which we figured out real quickly. After that, we were kind of left in a bind. So this would extract. But as I mentioned, when I extracted this at first, it was so smooth, it was like I'm like, why is that so, it's like, it's like there's grease in there, but it wasn't grease, it's actually, there's a pipe in there and that's air. So within this piece here, there is like a small bearing some type of ball bearing, and that cannot be extracted through gravity. So it might be there magnetically. It cannot be extracted if you tilt it upside down, which is why he mentioned in this letter that gravity will not work. Uh, you had to actually push it in, block these two holes, which I randomly discovered, and I'm so happy. Pull that out, and then you could unlock it. So genius, so genius. You can actually see the, uh, here you go. That's probably the hole right there that the bearing was in that gets sucked out with the uh, with this thing here. I could not be more ecstatic about this puzzle and the solution. If you did enjoy this video and you like what we do here, leave a like, and if you wanna see more of this, leave a subscribe. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Hopefully tomorrow, I'm gonna to try to keep uploading every day for you guys. We'll see you then. Peace.